Hi, Patty here, and today we're going to be talking about the little pico tank. This is a two gallon shallow tank by Ultim Nature Systems, and it has been set up for a couple of weeks now. And it was a transfer for an, from another tank that I had, and it was specifically made for Bruce, my emerald crab, that you guys are going to see pretty soon. And it is more of a softy tank. And as you guys can see, I got some mushrooms. I have some soas. And that's a Duncan over there, a little soa rock right there. These are some gonies, some, you know, LPS and softy tank. And it is a pretty simple setup. And Again, I didn't have to cycle this because the rock came from rock sand, everything. Even the little Kemi Pure Nano packet came from already an established little Nano that I had. I only have one a little snail. And I have my emerald crab, which is bruised, who it normally hides right there under in that rock. And it's pretty easy, honestly, to manage this thing. And I know it's such a small system, but uh, just regular water changes every week i do 50 percent water change i do clean the sand and i also have just one chemi pure blue nano packet right there under the little pump the little pump is actually the pump that came on my nubo 10 only one tank that i had like i believe was last year I don't have that tank anymore, but I did keep the little pump, and that's a pump that is being used as a power head right now. And then I have this little, I believe it's an Aquion, little heater. It's like a beta heater for a 2.5 gallon tank, to the 2.5 gallon tank, I believe, and works great. I actually had a bigger um, heater on this tank, and it was overheating my tank. And I didn't really want it to put any, I want really simple tank and that's why I went and tried to find a the heater that works rather than putting like a temperature controller or more stuff to it. I really want to keep it really low tech, low key, really simple, especially because it's only going to be softies. So also the light, I have the Asta 20 light by Lumini and it is i found it on amazon it is a great little light i definitely do not recommend it for something bigger than a tank like this maybe like a four or five gallon but that is it i had it on a 10 gallon i actually had it on my lps tank and it wasn't strong enough so i transferred it to this tank and the light is perfect and i also have a little air plant right here on top shout out to tiga boy who helped me I wanted to put something I wanted to add kind of something different and something extra to the tank right there on top because the water the part of the rock is immersed it's out of the water and he totally suggested why don't you get an air plant it will be a great addition it will look cool and totally really love it really easy to take care I got the air plant on Amazon and what they do is that they not they do not require any soil you go and every week you take it out from where you have it and then you submerge it in water once a week and then you shake it a little bit, take it out, dry it out and then just put it back where it, where it belongs and that's it, or where you want to put it. So yeah, and that's pretty much it for this Pico tank. Oh, one more thing. When I do the water changes, I do add a little bit of filter floss cut to size right here on the top of the little power head because i do clean the sand and the water is not as close or clear so to grab all of those particles that i pretty much agitate due to cleaning the sand and such i add the filter floss on top and a little bit of carbon right here like a tablespoon of carbon in a little mesh bag to capture that and the carbon to clear my water and leave it overnight and then get back to clear crystal clear water and i also dose one drop of coral aminos by brightwell aquatics and there it is it is great i use it on all my nano tanks and again it's just aminos to help with the corals 
there you go coral growth and coloration and i also do like a couple of drops of stability which is beneficial bacteria after every water change and that's it that's pretty much it for this little pico tank and it's doing great love it it's like my underwater zen garden i just love to get in there and clean it and look and see how the corals are growing especially the psoas the psoas are really growing really fast right there the only thing about this tank is bruce the emerald crab he goes every night and when he tries to grab algae he actually picks around the corals and they drop all over the floor and i need to re-glue them so bruce definitely going to be moved to my bigger tank that i'm currently planning my bigger water box i'm currently building and putting together so he's gonna be going to the sump and then i'm planning to be adding some like a sexy shrimp or really small inhabitants in here for this tank when bruce uh, gets a new home on the sump thank you so much for watching and to find all the information all the products check out on the video description and if you have any questions definitely comment below take care and stay awesome